The laundry room has been quite the journey so far. We had the ambitious plan to add a much needed toilet on the main floor, and this led us to tear down all the walls and start fresh. On last episode we insulated and drywalled, and on this episode we are finally going to have a functional room again. It's been long overdue. Before tiling, you need a flat and smooth surface, but we were left with this paper and glue residue from the old floors that we ripped up, so we have to figure out a way to remove it. After a little research, I learned that we could steam it off. We don't have a steamer, but we have something close to it. The unrealistic ideas of their own future. too inefficient so went out got the big boys it will go way faster and I got a little mad at me because I ruined the iron I'm on cleaning duty now and she says why didn't I get the right tool in the first place and that's a good question hey, it's almost brand new as if We picked two very different paint colors and it's time to test them on the walls. This one's called Day Spa Skipping Stones. It's our favorite color! <laughs> A variation of white. You guys what? are going to be so proud of us that we're even attempting to try this color. Are you ready? It's called Day Spa. Any, any guesses on what it could be? The next option, a little bit different from what we usually choose. A little. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> you can barely see it on camera. It's the color of drywall. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite. You ready? Impressions not really low in either. Hmm. And the struggle continues. So <laughs> of the two colors on the wall, I would go with the dark one before I'd go with the light one. An update? We found a different color. Long story short. Dun dun dun. It's very similar to this one, just it a little more muted. Mm. It's a little bit of a darker shade of the entryway cabinet. Yeah, this is the one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> and we need to do the floors now. First things first, remove the door. <gasps> what? Oh shoot. Oh, or that's probably why you do the bottom one first. Oh yeah. Why didn't you tell me that before I got started? Whoa. See you later, alligator. alligator. Where am I going? I don't know, pick a good spot. Thing. 
That's a good spot for you. Literally. I can get around. <laughs> right in between the main traffic area. <laughs> well, where am I supposed to put it? We have things everywhere. <laughs> Schluter's the brand name. <laughs> is a waterproofing membrane that allows flexibility between the wood floors and the tile. Want to see the top? Bringing the workshop inside. Before grouting and finishing off the tile, we need to install our water lines. And once those are done, we can install our new toilet. But that also means I need to go into the basement hole again. More water than I thought. <laughs> the water lines are complete. That is the supply line for the toilet. And over into this corner is the hot and the cold line for the sink. And those connect into the existing pipes. Now we have to hope that there's no leaks. I also took the time to insulate around the pipes. Elliot is done. He's got the plumbing in. Man of the hour. The last connections. You're filthy. Baby. All you need to do is just pop them on. Push. Wow. There you go. What took you so long to do the rest of it? <laughs> well, there was obviously more involved than that, but these things are still super neat. And the moment of truth to see if my plumbing works and there's no leaks. Here we go. Did it work? Hopefully this is the last time I go in here. Nothing leaking. Wow. It looks like I'm officially done in the crawl space. Yay. <laughs> Bring out our Christmas lights. Oh yeah. <laughs> now to finish off the time.
Seven loads of laundry plus some to do. Hannah says there's no more laundry until we finish the room. I'm not schlepping any more out of the house. Oh, I need the keys. So, this is the result. I thought it would be motivation. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's time to the water. It's time to pee. This mean we can install the toilet? Yeah, we've been working towards this moment for months. And finally, we can add our much needed new toilet. I forgot the rag in the drain, so now I gotta pull it out, redo it, and that means going to the store and picking up a new wax seal. So, that's what I forgot. The rag is temporarily put in the drain to block any sewer gases from rising. Before the toilet is put in place, which has a built-in trap to block the sewer gases, the rag must be removed. If not, this would lead to catastrophic plumbing failure. Fix your mistake, you dummy. Let's try this again. And we have a toilet. And it works. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> now to christen it. Yay! It's so pretty. I never loved the toilet so much in my life. Okay, get out. I gotta pee. <laughs> but ser seriously, oh yeah. I need toilet paper. Now I just need a sink so I can wash my hands. Help me, I've been waiting for this day since Christmas. The laundry machines have taken over the kitchen for quite a while now, so it's gonna be really nice once they're out of here. We're gonna have a kitchen again. <laughs> wow, we're gonna have so much room. There's way more room than I expected. I can do my laundry and then just put it straight into the dryer and it doesn't even whack the toilet. So nice, I don't have to leave the house.
On next episode, we're gonna finish off this face, the grand reveal. Looking forward to having a nice, beautiful sink and storage and a beautiful mirror. I'm just excited to be able to do my laundry and have things back in order in the house. It'll be wonderful. That's it. So close. Like, like, and subscribe. Like, like, and subscribe. And share! If you like what we do and you want to see more, here's some ways you can help support us. Singy sings! Oh, it's toodaloo! <laughs>